Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Creately. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Creately works. So if you have no idea about Creately and how to get started, then this video is for you. Creately is a powerful visual collaboration tool that allows you to create diagrams, mind maps, flowcharts, and more. With its user-friendly interface and extensive library of templates, shapes, and assets, Creately makes it easy for teams to work together and share their ideas visually. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the key features and functionalities of Creately and show you how to use it. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I'll go ahead and jump right into the Creately tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So here we are in my Creately account. First I'll show you what you can actually find in Creately and then I'll show you how we can use Creately. So after logging into your Creately account, you will be taken to the dashboard. From here you can access a variety of tools and features to create and manage your diagrams. The dashboard offers you a few options like creating new workspaces, accessing recently edited workspaces, opening templates, or even creating your own toolkit. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you will find the Creately left navigation panel. The left navigation panel contains five tabs, folder, tasks, data, notifications, and drop-down menu. Each tab provides access to different features and tools. The folder panel is the central location for managing your folders and workspaces. Here, you can manage your recently edited workspaces, your personal workspaces, folders, and workspaces that have been shared with you, as well as folders and workspaces that have been shared with everyone in your organization. The task panel allows you to manage your tasks. If you're using a free account, this feature won't be available since it's only for premium users. With Creately's task management feature, you can create workflows without needing to write code. You can assign tasks to yourself and your team members. These tasks will be visible in the tasks panel, so you can keep track of what needs to be done. The data panel enables us to manage our data. Only premium users can use this feature. In Creately, you can add data to items like shapes in any form that makes sense to you. This means that instead of just putting data in a table with rows and columns, you can add data to specific shapes in your diagram. The notification panel allows you to instantly access updates from your teammates and collaborators to your workspaces and shared workspaces. You'll receive real-time notifications when someone makes changes to your diagram or adds a comment. The drop-down menu includes Display Rules, History, Account, and Sign Out. The History panel in Creately is a tool that keeps track of all the recent changes you make to your workspace. This means you can see a list of all the changes you've made to your diagrams. Creating a workspace in Creately is a straightforward process that can be completed in a few simple steps. Firstly, you'll need to open and expand the folder panel. Then, select the folder where you would like to create the workspace. Once you have chosen the folder, Click on the plus button located next to the folder name or the blank thumbnail with the plus sign that you'll find next to the templates. This will create a new workspace for you. And you can rename your workspace from here. Another way to rename your workspace in Creately is to open the folder panel by clicking on the folder icon. Then locate the folder where you have created the workspace you want to rename. Once you have found the folder, it will include the workspace that you want to rename. Hover over the three dots next to the workspace name and click on Rename to proceed. By following these simple steps, you can create and rename workspaces in Creately with ease. Inside a Creately workspace, there are several tools and features available to help you create and manage your diagrams effectively. These include shapes, assets, stickers, frames, templates, and comments. Shapes are an essential component of any diagram, and Creately provides a wide range of shapes and shape libraries for you to choose from. You can easily search for shapes using the search bar or access additional shape libraries by clicking on the plus icon at the top of the category. Assets are another crucial feature of Creately that allows you to import icons, images, logos, illustrations, and design elements from your computer to your workspace. 
You can also use the inbuilt Google Image Search to find more images, shapes, and icons without leaving the app. Stickers are pre-made icons that you can use to add visual elements to your diagrams. Creately provides a broad range of stickers that you can use to customize your diagrams further. Frames are tools that help you create your diagrams by providing different types of frames, including grids, boards, paper, device frames, and swim lanes. You can use these frames to organize your diagrams and create your own toolkit. Templates are pre-made diagrams that you can browse and add to your workspace to create the perfect work management tool you need. Creately provides several templates for different purposes, including brainstorming, diagrams, flowcharts, and mind maps. In Creately, you can use comments to talk to your team members about your diagrams. You can add comments anywhere on the diagram and use them to share ideas, give feedback, or ask for changes. To add a comment, simply open the Comments panel, then click on the Add Comment button. Next, select any point to drop the comment. Type in your comment and press the Enter key to submit. You can add comments on shapes or anywhere on the canvas. By using comments, you can communicate with your team more easily and make sure that everyone is on the same page. At the bottom left corner, you have some other options that you can add to your canvas, like freehand draw, text, and line. So to add line connectors, select line from the options provided at the bottom left corner, then click on the point on your shape from where you want to start the connection line. Drag it to the relevant connecting point and let go to form the connection. In case you want to edit the line style, select your connector, then select a line style available from the drop-down menu on the contextual toolbar. And to add text, click on the text icon. Then, place the cursor on the desired area you want the text to be placed on the canvas and type or paste the text you want to add. Editing text on your workspace can be done using the contextual toolbar located in the top right corner of the app. There are many text formatting options such as font types, colors, positioning, and much more available for you to edit your text as you like. The Workspace Toolbar in Creately provides you with a set of essential tools and features to help you create and manage your workspace. The toolbar includes a number of icons that allow you to perform various tasks. One of the icons on the toolbar is the Save Status icon. This icon indicates whether your workspace has been saved or not. A green cloud with a check mark means that your workspace has been saved, while an orange cloud with a cross mark means that the workspace is not synced with the server. This can happen if the internet connection drops. The Select and Pan icon allows you to move around the workspace and select any element on it. You can use the Undo and Redo icons to undo or redo any changes you have made on your workspace. The Zoom In and Zoom Out icons allow you to zoom in on a specific area of your workspace or zoom out to view the entire workspace. The View All Shortcuts icon shows you all the keyboard shortcuts that can be used to accelerate drawing on the editor. The Help icon provides you with a number of options to find solutions to any issues you may encounter while working on the app. Creately offers four different plans to meet the needs of its users. The first plan is the free plan, which is completely free of charge. This plan provides access to basic features and allows for a limited number of canvases to be created. The second plan is the Starter Plan, which costs $8 per month. This plan is for individuals and teams. It offers additional features including unlimited canvases, 20 active folders, 50 gigabytes of storage, and basic collaboration. For users with more advanced needs, Creately offers the Business Plan, which costs $149 per month. This plan includes all of the features of the Starter Plan, in addition to unlimited users. Finally, for organizations with the highest level of requirements, Creately offers the Enterprise Plan. To subscribe to this plan, users need to contact the sales team. The Enterprise Plan includes all features and allows for unlimited users and canvases, making it an ideal choice for large teams. It's worth noting that Creately offers a 40% discount to users who opt for annual subscriptions. This can be a great way to save money while still accessing all of the features and benefits of your chosen plan. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Creately. There are more things to learn about Creately, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, 
let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for